What's up guys, Gabe Cuello here. Um, a vlog on an unboxing of one of my brand new tripods that I got from Mike's camera. Uh, as you probably have seen already in the other video, um, the, the G9, unboxing of the G9, and then pretty soon I'm gonna do my review on the camera itself. What I'm gonna do today in this video is simply uh, go over my, experience, my experiences unboxing this as well as the uh, experience with Mike's camera's uh, sales rep. So moving forward, so I'll probably start with that, the experience with Mike's camera. Uh, I got a really good deal, very affordable uh, tripod. It's, it's kind of like one step above standard or basic. Uh, and the brand itself is kind of like Target if you were to compare some of the other tripods that you get in some bundles. It's kind of like Walmart brand or a Dollar General store type brand. So I want to say this is like a, a Target or a little bit more upper class in terms of tripods. Uh, you know, from what I've seen on display and playing around with it, it really works and feels very smoothly uh, in terms of pan panning. Uh, and this is, this is exactly what I got it for so I can pan smoothly. And I definitely am going to go over more in depth with that. Uh, in just a moment. So the experience with uh, working with the person there, I want to say uh, Charles is the, the guy who helped me out in purchasing a tripod. The guy knows a lot about tripods, of course cameras and things like that, but I really needed some help and guidance in picking out a uh, good tripod because I wasn't looking for anything at a huge or professional level. You know, that's not what I do. Um, and again, you know, as some of you already know, I'm a fitness and mental skills coach. So uh, in a sense, my goal is just to capture good footage and to make sure that it's smooth up and down in three three way direction. And uh, you know, he heard me out. He understood where I was coming from, and he said, "You know what? I got the right one for you. Pull this out. We were playing with it, and uh, you know, I fell in love with it. So I think it's simple. Again, it's affordable. It's very straight to the point. Um, so yeah, let's move forward now and unboxing it." All right. So again, just for some of you, so you know, it's the seven four hundred. Uh, series. Uh, I believe the next one up is 7450, which is a, a speed adjuster, and it, it's really nice. But the one that they had was, uh, I think, on display, wasn't really working appropriately, so they did just decided not to sell it. Uh, but then I told them, like, you know, it doesn't even matter. This is just probably uh, more efficient because the one I'm using now is uh, uh, one of my favorite ones. It's, it's like the spring ones or. or you can pretty much strap it anywhere. Uh, it's my favorite one I use for the phone and for the gym, uh, for, for those types of videos. Um, this, I what I need a tripod for, as you can probably already see that this here is a little low and it's on a chair. So what I need to do is get, or use this, so that way I can adjust it. If I do standing videos, you know, I'm not gonna do it holding a chair up or holding it like a selfie stick. So kind of just wanna put that out there. Ooh, ooh. All right. Ooh, ooh. So right now, the quality feels good. All right, Let's see what we got here. So, right off the bat, some tripods offer um, uh, a bag to go with the tripod, as well as extra little uh, features and things like that, you know, to, just to give away. Unfortunately, this brand and box itself does not have that, but that's okay because it's not really that important to me. Uh, maybe it might be for some other people and you could probably find those types of bundles on Amazon, which is another great place to shop. But uh, Mike's camera is very uh, understanding and, and willing to hear people out. Uh, so try them out, ask them what your questions or concerns are, and hopefully maybe they'll help you to the best of their ability. All right. so. Let's, I think, you know, sometimes it's hard to say how great this is uh, all by weight. So what's missing is sometimes the sound. So I'm going to hit it a little so you can kind of get an idea of uh, how dense this is. I can hear that. So it's sturdy. It's heavy, all right? It's freaking heavy. So, yeah, it's, it's, um. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's freaking heavy. I'm, I'm saying it's heavy enough to say like it's good material, good quality, and durable. Okay, so um, when I saw this on display, we were playing around with it. I want to say the two big things that stood out for me 
uh, in terms of like all other tripods within the price range and its quality uh, range. I wanna say was, let's start from the bottom, was this here, okay? I don't know if we can get that in there, or probably this camera would do that. This right here was super, super beneficial to, to have because it's perfect to stick on dirt or, uh, you know, grass, concrete, areas that are kind of with uh, gravel or like slippery. And then of course, the adjuster for like a flatter surface, like wood or carpet, or something like that, you know, I mean, either or, it depends on what you need. And the, the cool thing about it, again, is just simply knowing that you have um, some ver uh, diver versatility here. Oh yeah, the second thing, sorry. The second thing I really liked about this camera and what made me just say, you know what, is it wrapped. It is like, it's silky smooth. And the only reason why right now is drooping over is because I don't have it tightened. Uh, but you could see that it's very smooth. Um, very smooth. So if I were to adjust it to where it's tighter, it won't, it won't really move. But if I loosen it up just a little, there we go. You know what I mean? Like it'll, it really is uh, that nice of, of movement. And then you can adjust it here to make it tighter to go or looser to go up, forward or down or up and down. So you could see here like this. But if I make it tighter. It's a little, you know, but it's still smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I love that. Uh, if I made it super tight, which I could definitely, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it takes some work. Uh, and that's totally fine, right? You know, uh, that's the key there is to make sure it's stiff enough for you to adjust it. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual uh, height, right? It's 70 inches. Uh, you have two types of lengths here. I'll show this one here. You have its original full length here, and then you also have the second one goes there. Okay, and then as a uh, extra height, you know what I mean. You have this one. Okay, now so again, 70 inches, approximately uh, almost six six feet, just about, because I'm I'm 71 inches in height. Uh, so this right here, you could tell, still good material. And then of course, uh, this one here is probably a pro, pro, pro and con for me, and just me only. It could be something great for everyone else. It could be something not so important for anyone else. But for me, I just feel like this right here could have been better. Um, and I remember asking Charles if, if this uh, if they have any replacements for this or any metallic pieces for it that would have been better. Uh, you know, maybe even a knob. I could probably get it at uh, Home Depot or something like that. I could probably get creative doing it myself. But anyway, as the product itself, providing it with something plasticky like this, kind of makes me wonder. I have to be very careful, right? So this doesn't snap because this is the one thing, the one tool that's going to allow you to adjust the height and go up. And as you can see, it does feel a little like clunky, rigid, maybe because it's new or maybe because it needs some WB-40 or, or oil. Um, but this is where I'm at. You know, you could probably hear it. You know, like I said, it just probably needs, oh, you saw that? Or, you know, it could easily be broken. So my only suggestion with this uh, is to be careful. And if you do get creative, which I might do myself and uh, share with all of you, I'm not exactly sure how I might do that, but Anyway, I would probably just get a twisting knob where, you know, my hand grip and do that or, uh, you know, or some other type of thing. So long as it doesn't block this from moving and when you're, when you're turning it. Uh, this right here is just to adjust its tightness, you know, to loosen it from the side to side movements. Um, yeah, I just made it tight. So let me bring it back here. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna share with you is the uh, top piece with the actual camera on top and to see what how it moves, how it records, and then from there you guys can decide if you like it or not in terms of how smooth it really is. I'm gonna start right off the bat and simply just showing you what it looks like. This isn't plastic, this is very metallic-y with a uh, cork material on top for, for a grip, I'm assuming, very cool. And then you have this uh, little knob here to help twist it and adjust. So real quick, I just should just say that I made a big mistake in um, 
you know, in my, I'm still an amateur, complete amateur with video uh, and photos, so I'll accept that. <laughs> this right here, I used to do it like this, and uh, I had no idea that's not how you do it. Like, I really was struggling, so uh, if you're out there struggling and kind of are wondering why the hell this shit's not sticking, that's what this thing is for. Uh, you twisting it so it does fit. Uh, correctly and not you don't want to do it super tight but tight enough to feel snug right where it doesn't uh, move the uh, the plate so there you have it a little quick tip anyway okay I'm gonna put it on here all right so now as, uh, as I have it on here it's very smooth but loose so what I'm gonna do is adjust it here make it tighter so it doesn't go down now or you know, on its own at least. But the sideways turning is too smooth. So we're gonna, uh, wrong one. We're gonna adjust it tight some. Okay, just a little, right? There we go, very smooth. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what it looks like moving it with this camera. What? So smooth. Oh, wait, well, you gotta go right? Okay. Yeah, what? Very, very smooth. Um, the reason why I think it's very good to go like that and shifting uh, immediately to left or right is because some cameras, or sorry, some tripods, when you turn them to the opposite direction, there's like a slack, a slight amount that you jerk it and then it turns. So it goes jerk and then turn, jerk and then turn. And that's what I hated about uh, other tripods, the, the Walmart to uh, Dollar General type brands. Um, so my point is, invest a little bit for something better. You guys deserve it. Especially if we're gonna make videos and uh, photography or pictures, you, you wanna make sure you, uh, you, know, you get what you're worth. All right guys, that's it. Thanks so much for taking the time and watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or maybe have any suggestions or like to see in the future videos, please leave that in the comment section below. Additionally, I highly recommend you guys, if you're local, you know, within Martinez, Pleasant Hill, Concord, even San Francisco, Oakland, or anything outside of those areas, by far, uh, you know, I, I definitely recommend you guys stopping by Mike's camera. I don't get paid at all for doing this. It's it, They probably don't even know about it. I'm just simply kind of giving back because I felt like they, do, they took care of me. So I think it's uh, it's something important to kind of just give back and let them know that they did such a freaking good job and that I'm really happy and clearly it's paying back. So, till next time, take care, peace, and be the change.